Hi everyone, it's Balint. One of my favorite animals are the gorillas, and I wanted to see them in their natural habitat since I was a kid. I finally flew to Africa to meet the gentle giants. Join me as I take on the challenge of exploring the wilds of Rwanda and Uganda, searching for chimpanzees, tree climbing lions, experiencing unique cultures, and meeting some truly amazing people along the way. Rwanda is called the Switzerland of Africa, and its capital Kigali is one of the safest cities on the continent. The developed city has a modern infrastructure with authentic African vibe, hardly showing the stigmas of the recent dark past. The city is very clean, for example Rwanda banned the use of plastic bags since 2008. The good and curvy roads sustain chaotic traffic where scooters are king. Easy to stop them for a very cheap ride, but the helmet I received looked like it was designed for Lego figures. My first stop was the local market. I was the only tourist, so I had extra attention, everyone offering me something cool. Then I visited a few more sites, closing the day with a few sunset drinks. The next day I met Aaron, the lead guide of the trip. He was training two new guys who joined us for the adventure. They all made their best to make sure we have a fantastic time. If you are watching, thank you so much for the Chivani vibes. Before heading to Uganda, we took a brief stop at the Genocide Museum. It's a shocking and interesting place. A strong message stayed with me. The only way to move forward is forgiving, not revenge. I wish it was applied in other parts of the world. Now the real fun starts. We headed to our first destination, the Kibali National Park, famous for chimpanzees. If you saw the Chimpampire on Netflix, it was shot here. During the 400 km long trip, we passed by beautiful valleys and small agricultural towns. Crossing the border was fun, I might have seen some money exchanged to speed up the process, but I might be wrong. In the tiny town next to the national park, I had a memorable experience. The hotel receptionist showed me around, being happy as tourists usually don't leave their accommodation. I learned a few local greetings, while he explained how locals build their houses and how people walk every day 10 kilometers from their homes in the nature. He also introduced me to his family and explaining the real benefits of kombucha for men. Chimpanzee trekking starts early and takes time to find the apes. Once you get them, everyone goes into National Geographic mode. First we found Mama and its little girl on the trees. And after some walking, we found the potential papa on the ground. The chimpanzee tracking is an unforgettable experience that is hard to interpret with the camera. From Kibale, we started a long trip to the Queen Elizabeth National Park with a stop at the Equatorial for an experiment. The surface rotates clockwise in the northern hemisphere. The fly whose objects in the north are normally deflected to the right, and the vortex to the middle, 
and when you throw the leaves, you see it turn uh, counterclockwise. So that's how you know you are in the south. Check what happens at the equator. So you see it is pulled down the green uh, without making the rotations. What do you think of the experiment? Is it true? Leave your thoughts in the comments. In the national park, we stopped for a boat ride on Lake Edward. From the animals around the lake, you could fill up Noah's Ark. In the dry season, everyone was joining the party around the water. We all enjoyed the ride. When I went to the restroom, there was a big line. But luckily, I managed to skip it. For the last hours of the day, we went for a short sunset safari, where you could see hunters and the hunted. This night, we had the most special accommodation. It was right next to the river, with a lot of nice fire and food. I could only go to my room with the help, as there were hippos hiding in the bushes. I could hear them all night running around. Their song was like this. Like big pigs. The following morning we started where we stopped, doing a sunrise safari. And after a short stop, we went to see a unique population of lions only living in Uganda and Tanzania. We are watching the tree climbing lion and uh, we are told the reason that the lion climbs. One of the reasons is because of those fake trees which are comfortable for them to climb. Then the other suggestion, people say that it is because they want to make a far sight for, to help them hunt. Visit Uganda with us at Safari to Gorilla Tours in Limited. Lions on trees look as lazy as house cats. From here, we headed higher and higher up in the mountains on crazy dirt roads, passing by simple agriculture lands. Our car was getting so dirty that we could hardly see. But luckily, we arrived to our final destination, the Windy Impenetrable National Park, home of the mountain gorillas. In the next episodes, we will be tracking these beautiful creatures. Follow us for the next episode and for adventures around the world. Thank you for watching.